Hello everybody, it's Real So here in EVE Online. We are running through the career agents, uh, learning how to, some ideas for some careers. Uh, still on the industry, so let's click on that. Alright, next mission, making mountains of molehills number four. For you, my friend, there's always something. Any, in, any industrial mogul worth their salt knows how to fight for their bounty. I'm sending you to mine in an area infested with rogue drones. Let's see if you can survive the trip and bring me the processed goods. Alright, so this one's going to have some combat in it. They destroy the rogue drones and mine the Veldspar for your agent. You, you'll need to reprocess the ore and the minerals when you return to the station. Alright, so let's see here. I think we'll take out the Ibis in this one. Venture, venture, venture is not really uh, made for combat. If I wanted to go ahead and buy a shield booster and stuff, it would be all right. But I don't have any, I don't even have drones trained up yet, so we'll wait on that. We'll just fit this one, make sure we can mine in it. Alright, so we'll throw civilian Gatling gun on there. And oh no. We've got minor we've got a minor one there. Uh, let's throw the expanded cargo hold on there. Hold more room for ore. Um, actually I need to get back in the venture because I've only got the one afterburner right now. So. All right, should be good. Yeah, that should be fine. All right, so let's undock and go do this mission. Uh, you can abort undock. See where right here it says offered? I, I didn't accept the mission. <laughs> Alright, now let's undock. See, it says agent mission over here also. When you have the mission. That's why I noticed that I didn't have the mission. Now if you see green in the overview over here, uh, I have mine set up for uh, colors. Like I said, I'll make a separate video for overviews. Uh, we'll, uh, and I'll go over that, like this showing that they're in the same corp as me. I'm in the NPC corp, just like these people are, so that's why we're all showing up green. That's what the little star next to their ship means also. Alright, so we're going to warp to the encounter dead space, warp the location. Warp drive active. Afterburner. Start orbiting. Orbit this guy. Shoot him. Pretty sure it's just the two drones. All right. Stop our ship. Stop our afterburner. Let's find the asteroid. Three. 
Now, I don't ever sit on the mining once I have the asteroids locked that I want. I uh, switch to my hostiles tab, and uh, or you can switch to general. They'll show up here. Uh, I have a hostiles tab set up. It's basically the PvP tab. Like if you click here and create a new tab, but I added uh, rats to it also. So pretty much, if if it's a ship or a uh, some type of deployable probe or something. Uh, it'll show up here. Alright, and how much did we need? Uh, if you need to check the details for the mission again, you just click on this arrow here and read details. Alright, we need 7,000 Titanium. Alright, so we'll check show info. We get 415, but our to the station we only and we don't have the skills, so we only get half of that. So uh, it's 207. That's what we get because they round down 207 per 100 units because you have to reprocess in 100 units. So, if we need to be 7,000 divided by 207. We need almost 3,400, I believe. So we probably can't actually do it in this ship. We'll probably have to go back and get our Venture. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna dock up and come back out here uh, and mine with my venture. Uh, I, while I'm switching ships, I'll go ahead and pause the video so you don't have to watch through all that. And I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Uh, just undocked. Now, uh, we can, since we haven't turned in the mission or anything, we can still warp to the location. Warp drive active. Now, if we were to turn in the mission somehow, even though we don't have the stuff to complete the mission, uh we would lose that dead space marker. But what you can do is if you have uh, Rex out here to salvage, like I, like I do, I'll show you how to do this. Or like if you jet can't jettison something, throw something in jet can you uh, right click on it in your inventory and tell it to jettison. Uh, you can save it as a bookmark. So. All right, now this one I'm gonna save. I can right click on it, save location, and I'll just leave it that. It'll save my default personal locations. Submit, all right, now it's a bookmark. Now, if this was hostile space, once I clear this, I can rename that to safe or something. So it'll be out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, people won't be able to warp here. They would have to scan me down with combat probes if I'm here. Uh, you can find your bookmarks by going up here to uh, that yellow light's bright. People and places, and you click on places. See, it says I have one personal location right here. Your agent mission locations will show up here too. All the locations. It's for current current missions though. But uh, like if I I can name this whatever, and it would say right here. And as long as I'm in that, if I'm not in that system, I can set a destination to that waypoint. And if I am in that system, I can just right click anywhere in space 
and I'll have personal locations right here. You can see I can warp to it. It would say warp, but I'm already here, so it says approach location. I'm out here, so I might as well salvage these. Uh, I probably won't get anything just metal, but I have a hard time passing up anything that I can get something out of. Uh, scrap metal, really the only thing you can use it for that I know of is reprocessing. Uh, there's a special reprocessing skill for reprocessing non-ore things. I, I can't think what it's called. Uh, but that's, that is a thing. And so people will buy scrap metal. You'll see it on the market. It usually goes for a pretty decent price for, for newbies. So I would suggest salvaging if you want to spend the time. Because your skill with salvaging is probably not that high. Like mine, I think, is only a 1. Like it's the default. If it even starts at 1, I don't know. I think it has to in order to fit the salvager 1. Now, like I should have been mining while I was doing this also. Um, now what you see, I have got two mining lasers. I've got more than one asteroid. I put a laser on each one. That way, if one ends out, it's not shorting the other one because then the other one has nothing to draw from, so it was a wasted cycle. Uh, later, we'll fit a mineral scanner onto this thing so we can scan the ore, and it'll tell us how much is in it so we know exactly, like, if it's only got uh, 40 M3 left in it, we can go ahead and shut this off, you know, when it gets to about where 40 would be and uh, not waste our time. Because mining can take a long time. You've got a 5,000 M3 ore hole, and mining this basic stuff, like Veldspar or Scordite, it's real small, so it, it takes a long time. Well, it doesn't really matter the size of it, because it, it, you mine the same amount volume wise regardless but it, it I don't know it, it seems like I think because the lower ores aren't worth as much it seems like it's taking longer because you you ask yourself why you're mining it uh, which at the beginning uh, it's good to mine because uh, tritanium is always needed and Veldspar is the main ore for tritanium you won't get a lot of money but it's money and until your skills increase and you figure out you know when to notice you know hostiles coming in and stuff I uh, it's better to stick to high sec maybe join a mining corporation uh, that's actually what my old corporation was but like I said my old corporation is no longer there uh, I'll probably use that tune who is named Uriel Tussaud uh, just like the channel uh, I'll probably use him to start a new corp maybe get some viewers in there uh, and have some fun do some you know, PvP and some mining you know a little bit of everything uh, even mission running you know, I, I there's not anything really in EVE that I don't enjoy doing now being good at it and enjoying it are two different things because I am no good at PvP you're going to see I'm going to have some faction videos coming up faction warfare videos coming up uh, you're going to see that I'm not very good at it I understand everything about it but I'm just not good at it uh, but I still have fun doing it So there's a rule in EVE uh, don't fly what you can't afford to lose so I fly the cheapest things I can when I know I'm going to do PvP because uh, I, I know I'm losing them. Uh, but it's, like I said, it's still fun. Uh, this might take a while. Let's see. Oh, I got some decent things. Didn't get scrap metal. These are used for uh, uh, Tech 2 uh, drones. So, like... Uh, like I was saying, the Kaldari use the Hornet, and uh, Hornet 2s are made using these. 
Hornet Tech 2s. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to mine these out and uh, I'll see you back at station when I'm done with this. Alright, we're back. Uh, yeah, so if you stay in the belt for long enough mining, uh, apparently uh, some more pirates jump in. Uh, you don't have to fight them. I just ran off because I don't have anything to fight them on the ship. Uh, you can fit civilian weapons and stuff like that on here. You Well, you can fit any weapons, really. Uh, it has two turrets. Uh, spots. I, they're just taken up with miners on mine. But you can fit uh, however you want, really. <laughs> if, but it doesn't get any bonuses to any guns or anything, so it doesn't really help to use it uh, for combat. Drones, this thing usually uses drones to defend itself. It, like I said, it could fit two. Uh, it, you, it could fit two drones. But I just don't have, I haven't trained drones yet. Alright, so we need to make titanium, 7,000 titanium. So, let's see. That'd be 7,000 divided by 207, because that's how much we'll get out of it. See if my math is right. All right. Okay. No, my math is way off. Uh, <laughs> that's a lot more than I need. So we'll see. Maybe it's just thirty-three hundred. So I need try a hundred more. Yep, that'll do it. Seven thousand there. So it's thirty four hundred is what you need. Alrighty. And now we've got the tritanium to turn into him. So we just complete the mission. There we got the minor one, and we got paid. All right, that's the end of the fourth mission. Uh, the next video will be the fifth mission continuing on. Uh, I did find out about the uh, the buddy key down in the bottom. What'll happen is, as soon as you create your account, you'll get, uh, and you, I think you have to go through the tutorial, tutorial until they teach you about skills, but they will, uh, give you two you'll get a redeemable item for 250,000 skill points that's quite a bit for a new character that's quite a bit um, let's see let's see what we're up to on this one um, yeah we're up to 489,000 so that's over half what I already have on this character um, yeah so Feel free to use that buddy key. Like I said, you don't have to subscribe. It's fine. Uh, if you don't enjoy the game, don't worry about it. Uh, if you do enjoy the game and you don't want to spend the money, that's fine too. Uh, just keep playing as an alpha. Earn that money and buy your plex in game. Uh, and subscribe that way. It's completely possible. It's just a lot of work, a lot of focus on how you're making your money. Uh... But don't don't make it like it's a job. That's when a lot of people get burned out on this game. They uh, start doing it just to make in-game money and not really to have fun. So if you're not having fun doing whatever it is to make money, then don't do it. Uh, that because I mean it's it's a game. So fun is the most important part of it. 
uh, the there the pe there will be people you'll come across that like live and breathe Eve, and uh, they they bore themselves doing things just because they know they can make the most profit doing it, and they always think, well, I'm I'm trying to make so much profit so I can do what I really want to do, but then it's always just another bigger thing to earn money for. So make sure you're having fun with whatever you're doing to make money. Uh, it, it shouldn't be a chore. All right, uh, we'll pick up, like I said, with the next mission in the next video. Uh, until then, hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet. Uh, thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't. Uh, comment, feel free to, uh, you know, let me know if you you like this uh, like easy tutorial uh, video, or uh, if you want to see something else. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to put them down below, and I'll get to them. And I think that's it. Uh, Till next time, fly safe.